So there's a lot of space to work with, which gives Falcon room to move, and he can close that with his speed, but it also gives a lot of space for Isaiah uh, to run away here, utilize that Hydrant, utilize these fruit, and just control the pace of this game. All right, and starting off already, it looks like we're watching Dojo-san. I mean, makes sense, right? You're trying to close the gap as quickly as possible, using Falcon Kick on the Hydrant quite a bit, but it's not really working. Only 16% racked up so far. On to Isaiah. I mean, looking extremely comfortable on this Pac-Man. And already, right, we're seeing some of the just Pac-Man's strongest options come out, utilizing this Hydrant pressure perfectly. And the defensive play here, hopping between high, of the platforms with Hydrant, is stronger than it otherwise would be, right? Because Falcon's main combo extender, his main tool, is that up there to juggle, to find these combos, to find these extensions. And Hydrant kind of just takes that off the table. Yeah, now granted, I feel like Dojo-san definitely owns. Oh, that can be a drop. Yeah, I didn't get the conversion off of that. That could have led to a very strong position for Isaiah. But despite that, still pushing on forward here as Dojo-san is trying to find a way through the mold. Yet again, Falcon kicking after Falcon kick on the Hydrant. But it doesn't do enough damage outright to send it flying. And so, keeps getting punished for it. And that was a beautiful just little trap that was set up by Isaiah. Finding you sprinting in on the aftershock and gonna find the stock off that bell, but just nowhere to go, right? The, the hydrant covering low, the bell covering high, and finally, Dojo san gonna find the forward, get the edge guard, get on board, and even though Isaiah's been controlling the pace of the game, Falcon still being able to rack up damage means that this is even right now. Yeah, right? It feels like, at least from my perception, that I feel like Isaiah has largely for the vast majority of the match, been in a position where they've been able to push advantage and they've been able to force Dojo-san to come in. And you see this time around, we actually see, I think maybe it was a Raptor boost into the Falcon Kick, that time doing enough damage to actually send the Hydrant launching. But despite that, now the gap is starting to look quite a bit more sizable. The gap, right? getting extenuated only further bot when you pick unsafe options like that on shield the pressure though not going to be too intense and a beautiful down air to just keep the hydrant hopping in place control center stage and force isaiah off really stemming the bleeding from that scramble situation and but the unfortunate just pressure the over reliance on that falcon kick once again gonna bite dojo san when it matters most yeah things are gonna look a little bit tough for jojo san here might have to Swing it back to the dojo, bro. Maybe put in a couple more hours. Go from a first to second Dan or something here, because you're getting quite a bit of a hard time trying to get in on this Pac-Man. I mean, Isaiah at this point looking to rack things up. Probably gonna grab some fruit, maybe get ourselves a bell, and try to close things out. There, there once again, that Falcon Jake. It feels like Dojo-san maybe just not as familiar with the Pac-Man matchup, right? Because he still hasn't caught on to the fact that that Falcon Kick at full, per at full health, he's not going to break the Hydrant. Yes. And you need to make those adjustments quick. We see an attempt on a read there from Isaiah, but not quite in the right direction. Has the bell in hand. We get the stun. That will be the game. So dojo needs to be careful. Goes for a knee on the shield. It's not going to connect. And we're going for a Hail Mary Falcon dive in the middle of the stage. Clearly just looking for anything at this point. Another Falcon dive. It does connect. But at this point, it's a little too late. Max Rage, 152% on you. You don't have much time left. The frame drop into the bell, but the bell catching when you're still at the end of the throw animation. So didn't get put in the stun. Was trying to get that to connect just a frame or two later. But even still, the pressure, right? Hydrant being able to cover yourself is so incredibly strong. On, because when you can throw out something that just occupies space while you're still actionable in a platform fighter, Right? Like, and just the amount of laning, the amount of options that get limited is incredibly powerful. And Dojo San just kind of getting caught in the Captain Falcon trap, right? Of holding forward meant that you don't have anywhere to go because Pac Man's one place, Hydrant's at second place, and the Fruit or Bell is a third place. You just gotta back off, and if you're not willing to do that, where, where do you go? Yeah, and there's like a, there's something to be said about holding forward and praying, right? Because as Falcon, yeah, you're gonna have to do that a lot, but you also have the speed to do it. And so what, like, I feel could be the key between winning and losing here for Dojo-san is get close, then decide what you're going to do. But you don't always have to approach with a hitbox, right? You don't have to close the distance and attack all in the same 
one singular movement, close the distance first, see what defensive options Isaiah is going to do, and then try to react accordingly to what you're seeing happen there. And speaking of defensive options, this stage was one of the most polar that Dojo Song could have picked as a counter pick. Because that center plat means that, yes, yeah, you disrupt Hydrant oh. and right eight from the sky, which is so scary game one. And you get those combo extensions with up air. But if you don't, if you lose that first neutral interaction, as he did, Pac-Man just gets to set up under this plat, set up those walls, those lean-tos, and lock you down with the Hydrant with the Bell, and it becomes even harder to dislodge uh, that defensive game plan that Isaiah has had so much strength off of. And we're just seeing, right? Dojo-san just hasn't had an answer. Yeah, I mean... Dojo-san looking like a fish out of water at this point, right? Isaiah clearly understands a lot of the patterns that we're seeing from Dojo-san are easily exploitable. It has magnified that into what looks like is probably going to lead to a three stock here. Dojo-san would need to change some drastic things here to be able to avoid that from happening. And at this point, it's not looking too feasible. I mean, this is Captain Falcon. It's entirely possible, especially with a mixed tech, you find, I was going to say, a dare or a knee or something, right, to find a quick stock. And the percent is climbing. But as you mentioned, Flambo, oh, that rope is running short here, and yes. he needs to find anything Ooh. somehow surviving. Yeah, I mean, luckily not getting red completely to filth, but pretty close to it, as Isaiah is just kind of taking his time to go ahead and close this one out. Surely? But shortly, right? Like, I don't want to count Dojo's on out here, but you're down by so much. So many stocks gone. You're already at 85%. And we're going to go ahead and bounce, 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 and not make it to the top here. It's all right. We do get a stock here. But I think a little bit too late. The stars here getting on board. Finally recognizing you can't shield. You cannot spot dodge that grab either, right? Just dash away, reset. Even though Falcon has that long turnaround, it's not going to matter. It's just the best option to just be patient. And that patience here, right, finally starting to come out from Dojo Sam. Not just running into every single one of these traps. But the question is, is it too little too late? Looking for the Whoa. down air there, but just didn't quite find it. Oh, next game. Yeah. Gets tucked in the bed right there by the bell into the back air. Great showing from Dojo San there, tried to, uh, you know, stop the bleeding a little bit toward the end of that game too, but was just way too late. Isaiah, for a lack of a better term, just had Dojo San's number. I, I can't really say that was a close match. Game one, certainly, you know, there there were shades in game one where it was like, even though it felt like Dojo San was behind the entire time, was able to kind of clap back and make it feel a little bit more competitive. But that game too, that game two got away from him way too early and was never able to quite recover. And honestly, that game two, right, was it was the exact polar nature, right, that I was mentioning before of this stage, right? The Isaiah got set up and very nearly rode that first neutral win to a three stock just because of how hard it is to dislodge him. But once he got dislodged, right, we actually did see Dojo Song start to find those hits, start to find those interactions, and not only took a stock, but made a decent amount of progress and was just one DI read wrong away from finding that dare and taking a second one, at which point we would have had a completely different game on our hands. 